Have you ever tried holding your breath? Have you had to endure temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius? Have you gone to bed without dinner? Even if you think you were pushing your limits, the reality is that the human body can endure much more than we believe. However, it's important to remember that these extreme limits should not be attempted without proper preparation or medical supervision. Let's start with temperature. What's the minimum body temperature we can endure? Unfortunately, our bodies are not designed to handle extreme cold. We evolved in the warm climates of the African savanna, where it's easier to shed heat than to retain it. Without proper clothing, it's extremely difficult to maintain our internal temperature of around 37 degrees Celsius. When the body's exposed to the cold and loses heat faster than it can produce it, the internal temperature begins to drop. When the internal temperature drops more than 2 degrees, we enter a state of hypothermia. Hypothermia is characterized by intense shivering, pale skin, and blood moving away from the extremities to preserve heat in the vital organs. When the body temperature reaches 30 degrees Celsius, you'll lose consciousness, and at 25 degrees, you'll suffer a cardiac arrest. One degree lower, and death is almost certain. However, there are exceptional cases that have defied these limits. One of the most notable cases is that of Anna Wagenholm, a woman who was skiing when she fell headfirst into a layer of ice on a frozen river. Her body was trapped under a 20-centimeter layer of ice for 80 minutes, causing her internal temperature to drop to 13.7 degrees Celsius. Anna suffered a cardiac arrest, but surprisingly, did not die. Before the cold stopped her heart, the constant flow of ice-cold water had already cooled her vital organs, especially her brain, to the point where the demand for oxygen was significantly reduced. This meant she needed very little oxygen to survive. Although Anna was clinically dead for over two hours, the low temperature kept her brain and vital organs viable before her heart stopped, thus delaying the death of her neurons. This allowed the medical team to retrieve her. In addition to recovering, Anna's incident had a significant impact on medical procedures and revolutionized how we treat hypothermia. It introduced the use of therapeutic hypothermia, a technique that cools the patient's body to a temperature between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius to protect it during heart surgeries and also to treat stroke victims, liver failure, and seizures. So, while 13.7 degrees Celsius is the lowest known record, how much heat can we tolerate? To put this in perspective, one of the toughest ultramarathons in the world is the Badwater Ultramarathon, held in July in Death Valley, the hottest place on Earth. In 1913, a temperature of 56.7 degrees Celsius was recorded the highest temperature ever recorded on Earth. Participants must cover 217 kilometers in these extreme conditions, with a dropout rate of 30%. The record for completing the race is 21.5 hours. The amount of heat you can withstand depends largely on your physical condition, effort, hydration, and other factors. But in general, enduring extreme temperatures is extremely difficult and requires significant preparation and adaptation. An extremely humid temperature of 60 degrees Celsius is the upper limit of what a person can tolerate. Humidity is crucial because it hinders or prevents the evaporation of sweat, which makes your body heat up even more. In an environment with 60 degrees Celsius and high humidity, your internal temperature could rise to 40 degrees Celsius in just 10 minutes. Causing severe hyperthermia, your organs would start to shut down, and without immediate medical assistance, you could die. Despite this, Willie Jones, a man admitted to the hospital during a heat wave, experienced unprecedentedly high internal temperatures. In summary, the human body's ability to withstand extreme conditions, both cold and heat, is impressive, but it should always be done with caution. Stories of people like Anna Wagenholm and the challenges of ultramarathons in extreme conditions show that the human body has surprising limits. However, attempting to push these limits without proper preparation can be extremely dangerous. So, while curiosity about the limits of the human body is fascinating, it's crucial to remember that health and safety should always come first. Don't attempt these limits without proper supervision and preparation. How far have you pushed your body? Share your answer in the comments and subscribe to see more videos like this.